The Joint Parliamentary Women's Caucus formed in October 2023 following a groundbreaking Women in Leadership retreat brings together female members of parliament from both the National Parliament and the Bougainville House of Representatives. While acknowledging the partners that helped along the way, Governor for Central Province Honorable Rufina Peter presented the six strategic commitments discussed during the week and stressed the importance of not leaving meetings that help women until too late. I guess one of the most important lessons that we have learned over time is not to leave things too late. Uh, I think all of the work that we have done uh, to address this cost has always been left too late. And that is a significant lesson that we have learned. Hence, the establishment of this uh, joint parliamentary women's caucus uh, has, I think, is a, is a beginning of a new chapter in addressing the challenge of women, women's political uh, participation and representation, both in PNG Parliament and in Bougainville House of Representatives. In saying that, I want to acknowledge UNDP and in particular Irina for the role that she played in towards bringing the Joint Parliamentary Women's Caucus. Governor Rufina Peter is part of a group of four women who attended the meeting who make up the Joint Parliamentary Women's Caucus. The other women who attended include constituency member for Mahari, Carolyn Polly, the Bougainville House of Representatives Minister for Public Service, Amanda Masono, and Deputy Speaker of the BHOR, Teresa Kaitevera. After the presentation of the six commitments, Deputy Speaker Cartevera said the meeting this week has helped them identify areas that they can address with development partners. All in all, I applaud all the discussions and the strategy put forward from this current Joint Women Parliamentarians Caucus meeting. I am assured that we are now positioned in a very forward-looking direction you know, that we have now put this forward. Let me here in wrap up with these few quotes from some of the powerful women at the, at the global scene. Women belong in all places where decisions are being made. It shouldn't be that women are the exception. Meanwhile, responding at the roundtable discussions were the Australian Deputy High Commissioner, Dr. Joanne Londes, New Zealand High Commissioner, His Excellency Peter Zwart, and representatives from the European Union and UNDP. Area Harry, NBC National News, Port Moresby.